welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafters, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Today we are going to make a card using the Love From Lizzie August Super Kit and it's called Live Love Lab. It's a beautiful kit, it's full of great crafty products and I'm using some of these to make this card as well as some products for my stash. You can find measurements to this card and links to products down below in the description and you'll find a lot more in the description so do have a look down there. Okay so this is going to be an American A2 style card so we need one piece of cardstock. I'm using a green from my stash and this piece measures eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter and that'll give us our A2 size card. Inside this card base I have a piece of white cardstock. It measures four by five and a quarter and it's going to sit in here. I'm going to stamp some um, sentiments inside this. They're sentiments from my stash that I'm going to use inside this. On top of this, we're putting um, a shaker element that we're going to make. And this is a different way to make a flat shaker. So I hope <laughs> I hope you'll give this a try. So we need a piece of cardstock measuring eight and a half by six and a half. We're going to score at a half an inch and four and a half. Then we're going to rotate it around and we're going to score again at a half an inch past the first score line and down to the second one. Then we're going to come over to five and three quarters and we're going to score again past the first score line and down to the second one. And that is going to, this piece here is going to give us our element for our flat shaker. We'll need to do some cutting. We'll cut these two little corners off and some folding, but we'll get to that together. Now, I also have a piece of, well, actually, I have two pieces of pattern paper and a piece of acetate here. This is from one of the large sheets. It gives us four heart panels and I have taken one of the panels. I've also taken some pattern paper. It's actually from the other side of that panel. And then I have my acetate here. Both of these measure three and three quarters by five I think it's five yeah by five inches and this one is three and three quarters by five and this one is three and three quarters by five as well so this panel is going to um this panel is going to be on the outside of our card we're going to die cut through this and through our shaker piece this is going to be what we'll see through our window so our window will go behind here and then we'll see through to the heart shape here i have another piece of pattern paper this is just a little off cut piece it's four inches by a half an inch and it's to decorate the inside of our card i've got one of the little ribbons and we got lots of different colored ribbons um i've so I cut out my chicken. If you haven't seen how I do this, I've done it in an earlier video. I take two pieces of cardstock, the pink and the white, and I layer them together. I take my little chicken die, I put it over it, put the two together through the die cut machine. When you take it out, the pink one will come off and all the bits will fall off. But the white one, it's very embossed behind. You could push it out all those little bits with a little bit of, of pressure, you know, but for the most part, they're, they're stuck in there. It gives us a good base and it looks as if we've paper pieced our white into our little chicken. So I have this as an element for the front. I've also stamped and fussy cut out this one. It's one of the sentiments from the stamp set. It's the For You. I stamped that and I have used some of the VersaCraft ink. This is Ash Rose. These little ink cubes are available on Lizzie's website and I have most of them in the colours and they're beautiful. They're like the VersaFine Claire or the VersaFine inks. They're all from the same Tusaneko, I don't know how you pronounce it, but um, yeah, they're all from the same and they stamp beautifully. 
So I've that stamped there and I've also got a little heart die cut out. Now, the heart that I have here that I'm using is from this set here. I got this from the Love From Lizzie website in June 2022. It was uh, one of the add-ons that you could get. I don't think these are available anymore on the website, but you can have a look. I love using these little hearts. I love the little pop-out circles here and the filigree edge that you get to the hearts. So I'm using that. You can use something from your okay so we've looked at everything we need for this card let's go ahead now and do some cutting with this panel here okay so I have our panel where we have all our score lines and I'm going to take my scissors and what I'm going to do is I want to cut off these little corners and I'm going to cut them off with the score line on either side Then I'm going to take a very small sliver of an angle. It's a little angle so that when we um, fold these over, they'll actually sit nicely in the card. So I'm going to do that again on this side. And that corner there. And then we'll take a little sliver, an angled sliver of both sides there. And then we need to cut up this center score line as well, just up to the first score line. And I'm going to take a little sliver of that too. So you can see the little angled piece that we have taken out there. And I'm going to do the same to this one here as well. So I'm going to cut up straight up the score line to the first score line. And then I'm going to cut a little angle in there. And that should be perfect. Lovely. OK, now the reason I haven't burnished these score lines is because we're going to put this through our die cutting machine with our larger heart. So in order to do that, this, it's going to flatten the score line. So there's no point in doing that. So. So before I add my pattern paper to the side that has the score lines up above and die cut out our heart shape, I'm going to cut off where you can see the two red lines there where my thumbs are. I could have scored straight down along on both sides and then used those as cutting lines, but I didn't think you needed it. So once I have those two little side panels cut off, so that my piece measures four by five and a quarter. I can then put this through my die cutting machine. And that's what you'll see next. I have my pattern paper stuck down and I've die cut out my heart. So now I've got my heart popped out there perfectly. And I've gone over the score lines again in my scoring board. It's just to make it easier for me to um, burnish those score lines. lovely so now what we want to do is we want to add our acetate and our acetate is going to get added on to this piece here like so so I'm going to do that next and I'm going to speed through that you don't need to watch me going through that slowly so I'm going to add the acetate down next and then make sure that you burnish the acetate and the um, double-sided tape because it will help it to adhere better if you burnish the tape down. So I always like to do that with either a scoring tool or something, or you can even use your finger. But um, especially if you don't use the red liner tape, that's super sticky and always grips really well. So if you're using just a regular double-sided tape, make sure you burnish it. Now, so that's down. And that's how we're going to fold this over like so. And we're going to glue that down and then inside here will be all our sequins. So I need to put a piece on the back here. So our heart shape panel is going to go there and you'll be able to see that through. So I'm going to glue that down now and I'm going to use my... Um, Kalal glue to glue this down as well 
and we didn't get sequins in this kit but I have taken my chicken and all the little bits that came out of it I'm going to use that as my little shaker bits because we don't have to have it doesn't have to be sequins for our shaker it can be anything at all can be our little shaker bits so I have die cut out my chicken a number of times in green a number of times in white you can see them all there and I've got all the little bits here I've also done them in some holographic pink card um, and there's all the green and pink and yellow and I have um, some sequins from a previous kit and I don't remember which kit this came from but I have a few so I mean you could use sequins in there if you wanted or you can use your little colourful bits whatever you have really you can use in there so now I'm going to add my sequins and I'm going to put them in here before you add sequins or shaker bits or anything like that. Make sure that you um, clean your acetate before you add them in. So now I'm going to add in my little shaker bits and this is a flat shaker so it won't have lots of dimension to it. And I want to make sure all my little bits are the right way up. So that just means I'm going to have my holographic pieces facing down. We might as well see them as see the back side. And then for good measure, I'm just going to add a couple of the little sequin bits in as well because I have them and I might as well use them and not too many because this is a flat shaker so we don't have dimension in it from you know our um, from some foam so now we want to stick Put these down like so, and then we're going So hindsight is a great thing. I think if I was to do this again, what I would do is I'd add some glue to this tab, and then I would add some glue to the bottom tab here. I'd then fold over this piece here on top of those two tabs. That leaves this tab here to glue down onto our back panel. And I think that would be a better way of doing it. And it would be more seamless on the inside where our shaker bits are. We're going to stick this over the top. So we'll need either some glue or some double sided tape there. And I'm going to use some um, of my liquid adhesive. I'm just going to tack the corners into place first. And then once they have stuck down, I can then add some liquid glue on my tabs. So I'm going to fold that over and press down around the outside. And I want to make sure that that is stuck down well because I don't want my shaker bits falling out. So you can use some double sided tape if you have it or liquid glue, whatever you have in your stash. And I'm gonna add a little pressure to that and give that a minute now for it to set. Okay, so our panel now is ready to go and you can see it's all glued nicely down across. The only thing was I really should have folded that little tab on the outside rather than down inside. But you live and learn, so I know for the next time. My shaker does work well. All the little bits are in there and they shake lovely. So I'm delighted with that. 
and I don't mind that there's some of the pieces over there on the edge because what I'll do is I've got my little chicken and I want to pop my little chicken on there and then I've got my for you so I'm going to put my for you here and then I've got my little bow. I can add my bow if I like. But to be honest, I don't think it needs the bow. I think there's enough going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pop my chicken down and my for you down. And then we can stamp our panel for the inside of our card and add this onto our card next. So let's go ahead and do that. So for the for you and the chicken, I'm going to add some foam behind them. If you want this to stay a flat card, then just glue them down onto the front of your card. But I'm quite happy to add a little bit of foam tapes on the back of them. And we got um, a white gel pen as well in our Love From Lizzie kit. And what I want to do is I want to go around my pattern paper and do some stitching. Now we want to add on our shaker panel with our shaker bits to our card base like so. And I think for this I'm going to add it using some tape. I'm going to use some red liner tape to add that down. I want to be sure it's secure. So now we'll make sure of which way up is our card base. I'm going to make sure that that is on as straight as I can get it. Then I can add a bit of pressure down there. And I can pull out my tape. Lovely. I'll just add some pressure behind that to make sure that it's set down nicely. And there we go. We have a flat shaker card. Just add. Oh, I forgot to take one of the tapes off. It's okay. That will pull up. And now that will flatten down. Lovely. And there we go. We have a flat shaker card, which is folded in there. And I hope you can see it well in my light. It's got very little dimension other than the foam pads, really, that we've put on the chicken and the for you. But it really doesn't add very much dimension at all to this card. So we have our for you with our homemade shaker bits as well as um, the shaker bits from our stash. We have our panel then inside where we can write a message. And I've used some stamps from my stash because it has to the coolest chick happy clucking birthday. <laughs> and because we've got a chick on the outside, I was rummaging through my stash yesterday. And when I spotted that sentiment, I was like, I have to use that. That's so cute. So there we go. We have lots of shaker bits coming through there. They have fallen down a little bit, but you know, the fun is in getting the shaker bits to move. So I hope you have enjoyed my card today. This was card six in a series of 10 using the Love From Lizzie August 2023 oops, card kit. And the kit is called Live Love 
laugh. If you make this card, I'd love for you to share it on uh, social uh, media. If you're on Facebook, you can share it on Lizzie's Love from Lizzie Facebook page, as well as my Facebook page called Your Cards and Crafts. All the links are down in the description. The measurements for this card is down in the description. The design team members who um, will have inspiration out for you using this kit is down in the description. So if you're looking for something, have a look in the description. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber and ding the bell. By subscribing to my channel, you help you help my channel to grow. And that really is something I would appreciate. The YouTube algorithms will help you to find me the next time. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, with a very cool shaker card, um, a flat shaker card done a different way. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you'll give it a try so that's it for me folks until the next time take care stay safe happy crafting and i'll see you again soon bye